Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Kasha M here. Guess what today is? Can you guess? Um, yeah, Megan and Harry got married. Officially, both bachelors are now taken, if anyone was worried about it. I, I was waiting to see those dresses, let me tell you. And today I got to see that dress. We're gonna talk about that, but let's talk about my hats. You know, up until the 1950s, upper class women and royalty in England were not allowed to show their hair. So hats were always a requirement. Now, of course, they can show their hair, but these beautiful hats, I mean, they've, be, they've made them fashion statement, which is amazing, I love it. So I'm doing my thing here today. I have three different ones I had to choose from. I have this one, which is a lace hat, and it has a tool fastenator. I will bring the camera up closer. Tool fastenator with full pearls and a silk flower in the center. And of course it's on a headband. I have this one as well. This one isn't as fancy, which is pretty cool. Check that out. Isn't that amazing? This one came in black and the black one I sold. So I had this one, so I got that. Which one, which one should I wear? Should I wear this one? Or should I wear this one? Check that out. Hand beaded with Swarovski crystals, pearls. Full pearls, of course, and beads, bag, like little baguettes and bugles. And then you have a silk flower and an ostrich feather. And check this out. Even the band itself is decorated with crystals. So here I am. I'm going to wear this one, I think. This was one of my favorites. I had a dream that I wore this to my own wedding once. So I'm just going to wear this one because this was in my dreams. Let's do a little giveaway. I will give this fascinator away. It is $150 value. Share my video, like it, subscribe to my channel, and I will pick in next week's video a lucky winner of this beautiful AA Bridal headpiece. You can wear it as a maid of honor, as a bride, as a mom. Flower Girl can wear it, or I can just wear it to wear it. Shoot, I would wear it to wear it. Let me put it on one more time so you can see what it looks like. White and ivory. Would you like this to be yours? I will give it away. Like, share, subscribe, and I will pick one lucky winner next week to win my fascinator. So let me put my fastener back on. This is not the one that you can win, but the other one is, and I'll talk about it a little bit more later. Let's talk about this wedding dress. We have literally 50-50 about whether we like the dress or not. Givenchy was the designer of Meghan Markle's dress, and I woke up thinking that it would be a little more. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's everything I expected. It wasn't. I thought it was going to be a little bit more. Did I love it? I liked it. I definitely did. I think it's timeless. I think it was elegant. It was age appropriate. She didn't look older. She didn't look younger. She definitely made a statement. And you know what? She's going to open up that album in 20 years. And she's, gonna, she's not going to think to herself, God, what was I thinking? I think she did really well, considering she has big shoes to fill when it comes down to that royal family. So... I think it was an amazing choice and it made her her. I think it spoke a lot about her character and I really don't think she had a lot of influence in choosing that gown. So I am very happy that she went with what she would have liked. I know there have been some princesses and some duchesses in the past that have talked about how they did not like their dresses later on or that wasn't their choice. I don't think that she's going to be one, that Megan's going to be one of those girls that's going to say, I didn't like my dress. I think it was elegant, sophisticated. It reminded me of Audrey Hepburn. I mean, I love that look to begin with, so I'm partial. Um, but again, I did expect a little bit more, some kind of some kind of different fashion statement, or at least a silhouette that wasn't going to be so straight line. That's what I loved about the look in general is that I have seen so much vintage and lace. It was a breath of fresh air to see her in a different style. I'm hoping that this picks up the market on different fabrics. Satins are coming back and people are forgetting that they're available. You can do silk organza overlay, silk satin, brocade. You have Mikados. These are all fabrics that will resemble the crisp lines that Meghan Markle's dress created. So if you're looking for that look, that's probably going to be shown now because this royal wedding definitely set the precedent and is going to trailblaze into the next season. It's what she loved and that's all that matters. Which brings me to this one point that I wanna make. You know, I have brides that come into our store all the time talking about how 
Oh my God, will my fiance love it? Uh, will everyone else like it? Do you like it? What do you think? It doesn't matter. It's this wedding itself will tell you that not everyone's gonna like your dress and it doesn't matter because it's not their dress, it's your dress. So when you're making your choices and you're worried about someone liking it, this is what you need to remember when you're going into the shopping experience. You need to pick something that you're gonna be feeling amazing in, that's comfortable for you, that you won't feel silly wearing. When you look at your pictures on your walls, that you won't see, oh, or what was I thinking? And you're gonna look at it and say, I love that dress, you know? You're gonna go through your wedding album showing your kids possibly someday, or maybe your nieces and nephews, that was my dress and I loved my dress. Then your dress should be a reflection of you and your character and how you feel. And in the end, you know your fiance is gonna love it because whether it's your bride or your groom waiting for you at the end of that aisle, that is your moment. And how you feel walking down that aisle when you guys lock eyes, that's all that matters. That moment is yours, and that's the moment you're gonna have in the dress that you choose. So if that's your dress, I don't care what anyone else says. That's your dress. If that's how you feel, if you, that's what you need to think about when you're going in to shop for your dress. That feeling that you have when you imagine that moment. And then when you're in that moment, you're gonna have that moment and you're gonna love it and that's all that matters. So don't worry about what anyone else thinks because not everyone's gonna like it, not everyone's gonna love it, not everyone's gonna hate it. It's you that matters in the end. talk about that veil omg i absolutely loved it i love the fact that she added just an extra layer 16 feet of amazing i know that a lot of people are uh thinking whether or not they want to do a veil or not why not when are you gonna wear a veil you don't have to wear it over your face but you could definitely trail it behind you how amazing did that look walking up those stairs of that cathedral oh oh my god oh my god i loved it now i'm not saying that's for everybody i loved it I think it just adds another layer of romantic and the wind, you can have some amazing pictures. And that little accent of the lace and braid that she had on the actual veil, I think it, it was everything and I loved it. So that's my opinion of the look, of her look. It was beautiful, it was elegant, sophisticated, timeless, and she will. I don't think that she'll have regrets about it. Now, uh, based on that question right there, clients wrote to me today asking me, what did you think about the wedding dress? And my girlfriends that own shops asked me, what did you think of the wedding dress? And then we had a mix of opinions, that's for sure. But based on my answer, I also had people say, hey, what do I need to bring with me in order to come into your shop and start shopping for my dress? Because I've been inspired. <laughs> I mean, simple, bring your ideas, bring your open mind. Um, if you have any Pinterest pictures that you had that, that you have been using, inspiration boards that you created for yourself, pull outs out of magazines, bring all that with you. Bring a comfortable strapless bra or a bustier if you own one, a pair of heels if you plan on wearing heels the day of the wedding, a pair that's comfortable. Don't start experimenting with heel heights for your wedding unless you're planning on wearing that heel height. But if you are accustomed to a two inch heel, bring a two inch heel, bring in the heels that you're comfortable in to look for your dress you know wearing a more complete look sometimes helps you make your decision faster too it doesn't confuse you as much I do have some heels here but if you have a favorite height bring those with you and like one to two people that you trust to give you their honest opinion that won't influence you in the sense of pushing you but they will definitely support you in your choice you want people that love you that understand your character that understand your likes that's the people you want to bring with you. You don't want to bring someone that's too opinionated that will overlook the fact that it's you that they're looking at, not the dress itself. We're trying to find a gown that will suit you. So I'm excited that, you know, people are asking me these questions. If you love the wedding, let me know. If you hated something about the wedding, let me know. Today was an exciting day for all of us. I happy to see another couple get married and start a new chapter in their life how exciting for them congratulations to the newlyweds and congratulations to you if you're engaged looking for your dresses all right so if you want to win this beautiful headpiece or this fastening or however you like to call it make sure to like our video make sure to subscribe and comment below anything about this video something about the royal wedding let me know what you thought about her wedding dress. Let me know what you think of our channel. Write something below and I will be choosing from the comments one lucky winner 
of this beautiful hair piece. But you have to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Have a great day. Join me again on my next video. This is a week that I'm doing two videos for you. I had to cover something about the royal wedding, right? Have an amazing weekend, have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching.